Hey guys, Ari here, and we're back again with another Rit Lane vlog. Uh, today is same day as last as yesterday. Uh, just filling in the straight bit of the boundary wall. Obviously, yesterday you saw me just building the pillar. A couple of profiles, and now we've got a profile on the far side, set up as like an internal profile. Uh, and I've got it attached to the scaffold at the top, so we're a little bit of timber. So a three F clamp set up, you know, pretty simple. Just sort of, you know, as I said with last video, adapting to the situation. I saw opportunity to get the taller profiles onto the uh, scaffold. Uh, definitely digging the, you know, the 1.7s. I think I think the 1.7 or 1.8 long these profiles. Bit thicker aluminium and all. Uh, it just gives it uh, just a bit more stability. Uh, didn't get the internal too good. I should have really chiselled away the drain pipe joint in between the four-inch pillar and you know the four-inch bit of pillar sticking out, and I got a, and I got a better fit at corner. Uh, so I managed to get it internally plumb up the the header of the pillar, and then obviously got it plumb up the uh, up the face of the nine-inch wall there. Uh, obviously giving us taking away two plumb points there, place to put the line on. Uh, really good technique on finding this for the boundary wall. Even with my my weight being like not going anywhere, I thought I was losing weight last week because I felt fitter, but I'm still about 122 kilo. So if I could drop 10 kilo, even I'd probably be a bit be a bit, fa a bit faster and fitter, and be able to just move my hands quicker. That's me. That's my theory. So um, yeah, today's gone all right. Um, I didn't actually go into work today. I got up as normal to go in, and the old man turned up which he, three days he works for me, he, he drives. And then halfway, every, halfway through the journey to work, he fucking pulled over and felt fucking poorly. So we had to drive him back, I think he was a bit rough. Uh, so when I got on, it were about probably nine o'clock. And then I had a look at watch, I had a look at weather, and then our young one were kicking off because he were, he went very well, he had a chesty cough. So I thought, fuck it, gods are telling me to stay at home today. Uh, and then a lot of builders turned up uh, to do some work in my front garden and uh, Jesus thought best stay at home thought it's a bit easier than just fucking about I didn't really fancy doing that remedial job either so I just rang in said I wasn't bothered and uh, back in tomorrow back in tomorrow on this wall like so it's just one of them things stuff crops stuff crops up obstacles get in your way and you just have to accept some days you're not going to make it in it's more important things obviously and um you ain't got to fucking be stressing about weather and all. One thing I used to do as well, any day I didn't go into work and it'd get rain and then suddenly the forecast changed and it didn't get rain, you know, I'd be stressing, oh, oh. And I said, all you've got to do is embrace your days off. We don't get many as bricklayers. Some guys working six, seven days a week. Obviously, I work at five and I don't take any holidays really other than Christmas and an odd, tri an odd weekend trip away, you know what I mean? So... It's one of them, we don't get any holiday pay, we don't get any holidays set for us, so we've got to take the time off that we can. So if it's a, if it's a wet day, you know, there's no point, you know, batting it out at work to earn 100 quid. Go on, have a fucking good time at home with family. Like today, for instance, me and Mrs. watch two films. We don't even watch films, we play PlayStation, so it's one of them today, like, a bit of a special thing for us to watch a film and... Not, not, you know what I mean? I'd have paid, I'd have paid me wage fucking any day a week to do that. So, it's uh, got to really weigh up the important things. People lose sight of why you're actually going to work in the first place, and they just get a bit engrossed in the fucking job. And oh, they're moving in tomorrow. I've heard all that rubbish before. Windows are going in. Da, 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 da. Don't fucking matter. What matters to what matters is what actually matters to yourself. So, uh, that was my little, my little off-topic rant there for today, but. Uh, doing some pick and dip here uh, obviously got a lot of comments about it people don't like it but we're doing it and I think this is how pick and dip was meant to be uh, meant to be done uh, backwards so as you can see I'm not having to spin the body you know I'm just dropping the mortar across my front moving my arm across the front to the wall and then you know sliding the pressing the brick forward which I was talking about last video um, the I'm trying to get better at the spreading uh, obviously Normally, you'd spin your trowel the opposite way. Um, not like that, it's like a, in a way where you're sort of tipping it the opposite direction and letting the motor off the back of your trowel. And, you know, the better you get at just laying that first little spread down for each brick. Uh, obviously, you're getting a lot of practice because you're going to the, every brick, you're getting your laying a spread. So you're going to get more practice the more hundreds and tens and 
you know, hundreds of thousands of times, millions of times that you pick up a trial mortar, you're going to get a little bit better at spreading it. So it's finding, it's finding, you know, that, that rhythm. And I know people are saying, you know, you know, you can be quicker traditional in some respects. And there's definitely instances where that's true. Some of the fastest bricklayers I know, don't, none of them even know what pick and dip is. But like I said, in previous videos, it's about ease you know, ease of working, reducing your workload in a sense, and uh, you can't deny the, you know, the efficiency of picking a brick up on the mortar at the same time. If you've got someone spreading for you, perfect. That's hopefully something that I'll have for me at some point when I get either an apprentice or another labourer on trial, uh, because the old man I was chatting to him the other day, and he said he he's only got a year or two left working with me, he's just, he's fucked, he can't, his hips are hurting him, and, uh, you know, he's struggling even on, even on days like this where I'm helping him out, he's still finding it fucking too hard. So, you know, gonna have to be uh, gonna have to get another labour at some point. Which, to be honest, will take a lot of stress off me. Said like I said last video about how some of the things I do at the moment are really killing me, killing me tra time on trial. I'm losing probably an hour a day a lot of the time on the, off the trial. You know, I'm losing an hour a day off the trial with having to do things that you know I'd get a labourer to do. Uh, since me, I didn't really a labourer, he's just helping me in a sense so uh, I, I uh, managed to speed this bit up uh, part of the video me building this little bit of uh, pillar free and same rules as last time did a full full circle just a little rack back as well so it'll take me up 12 12 course at least uh, and I think I managed to get I managed to get 15 course I racked a couple you know half a, a brick back at the top at this so you know same rules apply as last video with the uh, you know with the little rack back on the pillar but I'd, obviously i didn't have a profile on my far side which i was talking about last video as well um but i'm getting better at setting these profiles up i'm getting faster probably only took me five minutes to set up that internal uh probably less than that maybe and then the other ones probably took me maybe five minutes for both of them you know, a couple of minutes each you know each profile I'm going to probably start bringing my DeWalt combi drill to work as well to drill perps because using an hammer and chisel it's just it's just a ball ache so uh, I think I'm going to get some dedicated either grind down my F clamps to make them fit in the joint easier or bring me a combi DeWalt drill in my rucksack and you know drill some perps out instead of having to use a uh, having to use hammer and chisel all the time you know hammer and chisel it works but it's just a ball ache and they never really sit, sit as well so uh, you yeah, know, it's one of them things, you know, it's a bit of a, you know, you can't get around the fact that it's more, more tools you're having to carry to work. It's more gear in general you're having to keep an eye on. You know, I'm carrying a rucksack around me on site like I'm some sort of fucking hitchhiker. But, you know, it's what you've got to do when you've got tons of tools, you can't be leaving them about on big sites. Um, you know, it's a bit easier when you're on a plot, like on, on a scaffold, you know, you can leave more or less everything there and it's, it's basically safe. Uh, but, you know, when you... Especially in this with this intermittent weather we have, like in the UK, you always need your stuff on you, covered up. You know, you can't leave your radio anywhere, and you're know, just. I have a fucking common thing that I, I used to find site labourers putting your fucking shit in skips. You know, picking stuff up and lobbing it in a skip. You know, there's some right fucking idiots, and uh, you can't leave anything about these days. So you've got to just keep an eye on all your gear. Um, but yeah, really impressed with this, with the doing the backwards picking dip. You know, I found it quite a lot easier. And a, a thing I like as well, you get to s slide your trowel to across the top of your perp, um, of the top of your brick you've just laid. And that, especially in summer, that takes away that hard little nodule, a gobbo that when you go on your next course, if you don't scrape it off, you fucking grind, smashing your fucking brick down to try to get it to line. You know, it just gets in the way you're sliding that brick down and that's... Uh, that's the whole point, you know, that's the whole point at one at a time method or pick and dip, whichever you want to call it. It's, you know, it's to, you know, save your wrist. Uh, this particular day, I actually did have a, a slight wrist ache in my brick pressing hand. Uh, I don't know if I'd hit it with with the hammer, setting the profiles up, which I probably did because I'm that dozy. Uh, or I'd just strained it. I'd strained it just, I think I strained it climbing over that scaffold on that last panel. Uh, so... That's that's one thing you know. If you hurt your trowel, and you can, it can be a ball. Like today, it wasn't too bad because I were, I just had all the mortar pretty wet, and you know I won't really have to struggle to press anything down. Uh, but definitely one of them things. If you if you're making the, the day hard for yourself, it's just wear and tear on your wrists, your joints, everything really. So you're gonna be more wary of stuff like that. Um, 
today's video is about 33 minutes long uh, I don't have a topic as per usual but I'll be racking my mental uh, I was going to say some of them that were really inappropriate but I'm I'm, uh, I'm racking my brains to think of a topic while I'm voicing this other uh, but um, I suppose I could I could have this video as a uh, I could talk a little bit about pick and dip in this video um, obviously I talk, I've talked about it a lot in multiple videos guys who use it you know effectively uh, can't you know shout its praise is good enough uh, but you know it all depends on the brick some bricks are definitely better to use traditional you know uh, especially your your more semi-engineering style bricks uh, I definitely find they're very good to lay traditional um, some you know there's there is different different types you know you've got to be wary and, and if you are trying to get into the use using the pick and dip style you know don't let people discourage you if you're not you're not getting it straight away like it took me a good week to get used to actually not dropping gobble everywhere and then after that you know i still wasn't really that quick at doing it but as time went by i just sort of liked enjoyed and i enjoyed more doing it you know it just made it gave me a little bit of an hobby to do at work you know doing a different doing something different is like a bit of an hobby you know what i mean so that's the reason I do it. A lot of guys say stick to traditional, but I just find it boring. I find it boring putting joints on end at brick all the time. I just find it boring putting your V's in your spread. It's you know if you you know you've done. I've I've been you know been doing it ten years. You know I'm on my eleventh year soon, and you know it gets boring doing the same old stuff. You know everyone knows. Um, it don't matter how quick it is, people might be quicker tr traditional. You know you know arguably myself could be quicker to traditional. At, you know, in some certain aspects, if I had the right setup, but pick and dip, I find it just more repeatable. You know, more easier. I know how many bricks I book in every day, uh, how many I lay, and I know that since I've been doing it, you know, I've got faster, a lot faster, in fact. Um, and for the hours I do as well, a lot of you guys don't realise. You know, I only work probably seven hours a day on trowel. You know, obviously I have a snap in between those, but I'm not here a lot. I'm not here a long time on site. You know, it's. I don't do the hours in a sense, you know, I, I get here late, I finish, I'm about, finish between four and half four a lot of the time, but I'm, I'm not starting well nine. A lot of gangs are going for the snap, they've been here since quarter past seven, you know, I have about an hour longer snap than, ever, uh, half an hour longer snap than everyone else. You know, it's, the standard snap times are like, you know, 20, 20 minutes to half an hour, and I am having like an hour sometimes, and then on top of it, I'm getting me on water and messing about in compound and stuff, finding gear, so... I'm not actually doing that many hours of work. It's just one of them things that I've just, I uh, at the moment, at the moment, because I'm not in like a set, I'm not really in a proper one-in-one -one gang in a sense, I'm not in a proper, proper gang. Uh, but I just have to make my life as easy as I can. So these are some of the reasons why I do, you know, I do what I do. And I know I have to just make it the most out of my time that I'm on trial. So it's uh, it's just how it is at the moment, you know what I mean? And I have sp I've spoke uh, extensively about getting another labourer soon. Uh, I'm just, you know, I just don't want to, uh, want to see how old man goes on for the next few weeks. And with this material shortage, I don't want to set someone on and then have them tell them to fucking stay at home when they're at any work or, you know, be, uh, be, be running out of work. Do you know what I mean? At the moment, I just have enough to keep myself going a lot of the time. Uh, you know, I don't have bags and bags of work in front of me uh, at any one time at all. I sort of just, you know, I jump around jump around from site to site, picking up walls, garages, whatever. And uh, I'm not really sort of, I don't really have any a set site I'm at permanently. I have sort of, you know, even if I jump on a lift on a plot or, you know, I'm only doing it, I'm only on it for a week or so and then I'm somewhere else or less in some some, scenario, some scenarios. But uh, it's something that I have to think about, you know, more in depth soon. Uh, but I'll find, I'll probably find me saying, you know, struggling to get enough work in front of me all the time, uh, and it's a bit more hard managing it when there's when there's a full time when you've got a full time labourer or two labourers in a sense. Like for me, all man's ways two days a week. There'll be like three of us in, in on some occasions, and it's making sure you can get you know enough work in front of you for them days. And you know, it's a little bit more managing. Uh, I always found when I was in in gangs, we were always I felt you just instantly as soon as you have more men with you. You have to just you need more work, so it's just you know a bit, little bit more, a little bit, it'll be a little bit more of a uh, of a change for myself. So 
when I do find, finally get a full-time labour and apprentice, uh, you know, in, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to set my time scale by end of year, uh, hopefully. So I'll try to get some of the worst, try to get some of the, you know, shitty weather out of the way and then probably start a fresh year, you know, with the, uh, maybe, you know, maybe soon, it depends on if opportunity arises. Uh, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely something that then I can change the way I work a little bit. I can get stuck in a little bit more to my work instead of having to be constantly picking up the slack for uh, for everyone. Whereas like, you know, if I have someone even getting more to, you know, ordering bricks up is a massive thing. If I could just say to someone, I'll give us a pack of bricks instead of having to fucking find forklift driver. Cause like the old man, he won't talk to a forklift driver. You know, a lot of them are ignorant. Yeah, I get it. But you know, it's something you've just got to do. You've got to do as a labourer, and he, he just didn't motor in to do it. So, you know, I do what I do. Fucking, you know, you know, all these under it. But it's one of them. It's one of them. You know, I mean, I'm, I don't, I can't complain. And uh, uh, you know, he's helped me out when I need. You know, he helped me out when I couldn't find a, when I had two labourers just not turn up before before old man started. You know, I had two lads who I, prom- who I, who I promised them fucking well, and they just didn't turn up. And the one that did turn up, one time at one time at like half nine because I, I got stuck in traffic once and then never came back so it's just you know it's a struggle it's a struggle finding good lads uh, but i think in this day and age now with the pandemic and people being laid off there's going to be more guys looking for looking for laboring jobs or opportunities to get on trial if they were if they, you know they are just laborers and want to learn brick lane you know i'm the person who will teach you it you know stress free so it's um i'm gonna have a look into actually uh going around a, going around a couple of colleges uh, around where i live and uh, if 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 you know if nothing nothing uh, seems to you know pan out in the next six months, I've got a plan and go into a couple of colleges and uh, try get try get a few get an apprentice from from a college, uh, probably ideally and ideally one who drives because you need someone who drives really. I don't want to be picking anyone up. And then that'd be me. That'll be sort of you know I'm I'm sure I'd find someone easily. Uh, you know I think I think anyone in this day and age. Would, you know, you see them on Facebook pages all the time, but they're a bit useless. You know, I've had, I've had, uh, I've had lads on Facebook pages and uh, messaged them up and never got back to me. You know, I've messaged probably three now on Facebook, so that's a bit useless. Probably rather go in person to one of these colleges where you've at least got a bit of cooperation from, you know, from college college tutor staff to you know encourage them to take on a take on a job. You know what I mean? So yeah. Um, but yeah, I got I get up quite high in this video. A few more courses, I think. Probably running out of uh, running out of ideas now. Let me have a think. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me have a think of a of a topic. I did say I'm gonna think of one, but I got off on a tangent. Um, oh, that's it. You know, I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna talk about video quality and uh, video frequency. So, um, am I gonna be making daily videos all the time? Probably not. I'm gonna probably after today's video might have a day off and then make a video on the following day just because it seems at the moment now with me just recording on iPhone that the content's getting a bit fucking boring I find it a little bit boring talking about the same shit um, every job I go on to I have something new to talk about really I have new ideas so it's not boring in a sense of that but I feel like I'm bringing the same content uh, a lot of the time obviously boundary wall after boundary wall don't really change the only thing that changes is a little bit is how I build them you know what I mean so um, I'll, I'll hopefully when I get onto another job uh, hopefully maybe maybe on I might get on some stone in fact I'm not sure I'm not keen I'm not to be honest after doing picking dip you know stone the price of stone isn't really worth worth laying anymore you can make some money on stone but you know uh, I've done a I did a stone fourth lift not long ago um, which it would only it were only just above wind you know it only got it to silly and then just stopped and uh, I just took fourth lift it which which had about fucking it was like a greenhouse I'd say I had like seven windows in top lift and uh, that stone it's all right but some of the depending on what gear you're laying, you have to cut all stone right windows you know I've done some stone boundary walls which are nice I did some some retaining walls uh, which are really good so. You know, hopefully, depending on what site I'm on next, if I can get, I'd probably actually, I'm probably more inclined to do some more footings, to be honest. I know old man, he can't really do footings too hard, but I've been looking at some, um, 
some uh, so I've been looking at some plot lifters. The if you've ever if anyone's ever watched Derby Brickwork, they do some fucking fantastic work. They're like a super gang, but they're actually fucking churn out really quality neat work and they're fast and all. You know most super gangs on these jobs they churn out some right rough shit because they're just rushing to make a wage for all, get all men. But it's very rarely you get a super gang who's fucking super neat and fast at the same time because you know any big gang can be fast. They can make the have the illusion of being fast, but. You know, a lot of them, a lot of the time, they're not making a lot of money, these bad gangs, but... Well, it sounds but it's Derby, Derby Brickwork, and by the looks of the work, the you know, the, the killing it, making some good making some good money, all of them, and I think they're all... Uh, and the work's bang on. So, um, I saw them using uh, some block lifters, you know, like picking up, pick your box up with them. That'd be probably an ideal thing for the old man. Um, if we go back on footings, I know a lot of these firms that I'm working for at the moment in the footings they're using trench uh, I've been doing a few footings a, a few I did that boundary wall footing and I'm helping out Groundworks firm on this job I'm on at the moment intermittently which I'm not bothered about you know because it's this site end of day it's an ideal really ideal location this site you know I mean, it's only 25 minutes away from your house so you know and it's an easy run and all so it's not a ball like to get to like some some jobs you you travel 25 minutes but it's a ball like so you feels like a you know a bit of a journey but you know i've been helping them out intimately so there aren't, there aren't many heavy blocks on this site to lay it's more it's mainly just just them trench blocks you know what i mean but if if uh if we got on some footings that have more just more standard four inch of them that would be nice because i can get some bot lifters for him um anything that in a trench but really you could use a bot lifter to carry which will be nice because you can keep his arms straight. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, old man, he doesn't have, you know, most muscle on him or anything. He's, dead, he's like a rake, to be honest. And, um, you know, it, it's hard for people. I ain't got a lot of muscle, you know, like myself. You know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a fat fucker, as you can see. Spare tire hanging around midsection. Uh, but, you know, there's muscle under there. I've trained for 10 years. And I'm not and if, everything I pick up on site, it feels like. And there's one of the advantages of, you know, being a little bit heavier, being a, being strong, is you know on site you pick up a bucket of gobble, you pick up a you know a brick clamp, and it don't feel like anything in your hand. It don't you, you know you don't even feel the weight of it. It's not tiring you out. So that's probably one of the advantages I recommend for anyone getting into as an apprentice or a labourer. Just get some fucking muscle on you, you know, you know, build some strength up because it's not worse than struggling to lift something. You know what I mean? It's, it just takes everything out of you. It makes your day harder. But if you're strong. You know, you find it, the day goes easier. Do you know what I mean? The day's easier in general. My problem is just being too fucking big and needing some a bit more fitness. I need to shed these spare tires I'm fucking carrying around with me, uh, and uh, it'll help help me be a bit quicker in general and allow me to keep my speed up a bit longer. So, so yeah, that'd be ideal if we get on some footings next. Um, you know, it's uh, and as well, and, and with me with my birthday coming up in seven days I think seven or eight days uh, you know I'm getting that GoPro getting that GoPro either probably next Thursday next Thursday I'm gonna get it uh, in time for weekend so I can fuck about with it um, I might get midweek yeah, I want to mess around with it weekend first and then and then I can do some uh, some more some videos with Edcam and uh, can part Edcam crew on YouTube um, but obviously, when I'm on, when I'm doing videos, it's probably still going to be voiceovers. I'm not really going to be doing a lot of you know fucking babbling into the camera on site because yeah, it's a bit fucking embarrassing when people are fucking stood working near you and you're fucking talking into a camera. You know, I'm not going to fucking lie. It's fucking look weird as fuck. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> it's going to look fucking funny enough with me having a fucking camera mounted on my helmet. So my plan is so I don't look as much of a tit when I'm roaming around site. Probably just have two helmets. I've got one in in the. Uh, I've got one in the garage. Sorry, Youngin's coughing, so I was just listening out for him. You know when they've got a chesty cough, you know, especially toddlers, they just fuck it sound like sounds like worst thing ever. But I've got a spare helmet in in the uh, in the garage, so I'm gonna get that out and just probably just put that on when I'm doing, you know, having a good runner pick and dip or something. Um, I haven't done a garage in a while. Not done a garage in a good while. I've done probably I've done four I've done four walls since then. <clears throat> so, I'd be like to get on a garage again, that'd be nice. Ideally, double garage, last me a little bit longer. Um, 
and obviously there's a middle there's there's the middle block wall on the on a, on a double garage so get a little bit more block work footage uh i'm also thinking i might get one of them trial mates they did that they've advertised with a smaller you know the smaller trial mate and the track you know the trial magnet master um i've been thinking about getting one of them as well because if i do go back on footings you know i've been thinking about this trial trial master belt all the thing you know if i can get it around me fucking if i can get it around canto on the I'm midsection i'll have a go and uh It'll probably encourage me to lose a bit of weight as well. I find it footings on, you know, it's harder work and you, you're fucking, uh, you're definitely burning more calories in footings. So it'd be something to encourage me to fucking, you know, get fitter as well. Because at the end of the day, I've found, you know, I've found just laying bricks normally on these boundary walls dead easy to make money. I found footings, you know, good to make money on, you know, you know, generally just, to, you know, a little bit harder I found it than walls and garages to make me money but it's only because it was my first one in ages so I bet if I did a couple I'd be fucking dead on I'd be, uh, I'd be just smashing them in and I think it's labour intensive as well so probably have to if I did find me saying getting some doing a lot more footings I'd just have to just say to me oh man I'll get another lad in for three days and if he wanted to do two he did two if he wanted to do three he did three wheels uh, so I'd just be like a, a one and two <laughs> so uh, it'd be uh it be, you know, some some days. So I think that's what I'm gonna have to do eventually. You know, soon enough, because it's uh, it's something that I really fa- I'm really finding I can't do it all me on a lot of the time. You know, loading out and then fucking laying. It's a ball ache, uh, especially when how smooth and how quick I can lay when I'm just left to laying instead of having to fucking break off and help load out and stuff. So it's uh, it's definitely as it's you know. Definitely has its uh, merits having, you know, just been able to stay on trial, crack on, get stuck in. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, the content as well, like I was saying, with the crosswick topic, um, I'm going to... I'm going to try to do some more varied, varied videos other than voiceovers. A little bit more on-site stuff, if I can... When it, you know, when it suits doing it, you know. But obviously, having a couple of couple of different hats for me helmet cam so just i'll be able to take it off when i'm not recording and just have a different hat on <laughs> would be nice so i'm wondering around sites because you know some sites can get funny about your recording obviously we have it having my phone just i had this on top of a massive manhole fucking riser it was like a big manhole and it sat on top of a board so you know no one even knew, no one even fucking realized what this was and uh you know, what I manage is not bothered, but some can, some sites can get funny about it, so I've got to be wary of that, obviously, in, uh, if I'm moving around different jobs. Uh, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know how I get on tomorrow, after, after, uh, after I get on tomorrow, because I had a count up of this wall, from what I can remember counting, and I've got about a day's work left on this wall easily, uh, depending if we lose any time, so... I've got to get some, obviously, to that brick and edge tomorrow on that uh, on that other on that other uh, other wall. So that might hold me up, but it only took me fucking 15, 20 minutes thinking about it now, probably less. So should get this up tomorrow, or you know, I might not reach as I actually and get it up a bit quicker. So I'm already 15 close to this side. I might just take it 20, and then I'm basically there. I might take it 20 course. Because 20 courses, 1.5. So, I might take, you know, I'm just not going to make, I'm not going to struggle reaching. When if they're going to put a scaffold up, I'm going to have to do it, you know, overhand anyway at some point. So, I just don't want to be struggling. Uh, and we've used up all this gear and all. So, tomorrow when I start, I'm going to have to be loading some out as well when I first get there with all man. So, uh, probably, well, you know, I'll be able to pretty much get going straight away. But it's all going to just slow things down we have into you know not having anything low down in front really uh I have to set this pro help again so not really looking forward to flat starting again that was a bit of a ball like why today i've i was a bit fucking pissed off i didn't go in in a sense just because obviously i could have got some gear load out and the day before i left um but obviously i didn't get the opportunity to but that's one of the things about having getting someone loading out in front as well. Even if if I have another labourer full time, 
just loading out in front and then, you know, helping, you know, getting on trial as well. In between Dad helping us out, it'd be nice as well to be just loaded out everywhere. Uh, and we obviously get a couple of plots on go, be nice as well. Just have just some work in front of me so I don't have to keep fucking flitting about from wall to wall. That'd be nice as well. It's just, yeah, I'll we'll see how it goes anyway, see how it goes. I can only do what I can do at end of the day and, uh, you know, don't want to move subbies at all, you know, like working, like working for people for a moment. So that's one of the things, you know, a lot of, a lot of places are, are advertising now for bricklayers and some of these jobs sound amazing on other phone and they sound amazing on Facebook and you get there and the fucking bloke you're working for can be a tosser. So it is important that you work for someone who is sound, who's on your wavelength, who is, you know, always pays. Fucking hell, there's been loads of videos I've watched on YouTube. You know, one I did mention last last week with Steve and Alex Brickwork. Uh, they, you know, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Britlane YouTubers to be fair, and they didn't get paid for some of they done at Gleason. So, you know what I mean? It, and they, 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 I looked at the video that they built and uh, they, I watched them build that garage that they didn't get paid for and they fucking work with fucking spot on and they're not worse than doing a great job and not getting paid for it so it's uh, it's fucking scandalous really that it's allowed to go on still but uh, you know that's what that's what's important sometimes it's not the work you're going to be doing it's who you're working for and that's can really you know there's no worse that can fuck your day up if you check your bank account and at week whichever day you get paid and your fucking money's wrong and uh, there's no way that can that's no worse really so so yeah uh we're coming up to end the video now i'm gonna probably put a bit of music on because i want to get on playstation play a bit of assassin's creed odyssey that's my game of choice at the moment uh i'm a big single player sort of rpg guy uh misses us into warzone and all them battle royales and that i used to be I used to be a massive Call of Duty player, but fucking recently with all these battle passes and cosmetic rubbish, I'm not I'm not been interested. Uh, I might get into Battlefield when new one comes out. I'm not sure yet, but um, be it misses the big gamers. I got her into it when she met me, and uh, we've as the first game we got into massively with we Black Ops Four, and we haven't played really. We haven't played uh, that ex to that extent really since probably Zombies on Cold War. We've played that quite a bit. But I've been off of it re recently with first person shooters. I've been more of into my RPGs and you know, my Diablo style games as well. Of them, I mean, I'm well into my action RPGs, looter shooters, and that. So that's what I'm going to be playing now. Uh, our young and he's got a fucking massive big cold, big chesty cough, so he's resting. He's resting up watching Thomas. And I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my evening. Uh, I've had a massive nap today, actually, and all, so I was probably glad that I went in at work. You know, I'm just re I've recouped now, so next rest at week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll be fucking bang on it. I'll be sla slashing them in pretty quick, and if I can get this backwards pick a dip technique down to so like a one one scrape or a two scrape, that'd be nice. I'm a bit pickly and I'm a bit, bit finicky with how I want it done sometimes, so I need to sometimes try and, you know, Stop fucking about scraping the brick as much. Anyway, guys, a little bit of footage, a uh, little bit, a few pictures here of the wall, and and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on Thursday with another video. Have a good, have a good, uh, have a good week, guys.